Hey everyone, Freddy Redo here, back again with another pickup video. Welcome back to welcome back to another episode of games I recently purchased. Um, all the games that I've been buying recently are stacked over here, and um, and let's get right into it. So, the first game, the first game I got for my N sixty four is a racing exclusive. Is a racing game exclusive is a fun racing game, and that is Automobile Lamborghini. I haven't played this, but I've heard good things about it. Okay, next step for my DS, I got Sonic Rush, another good game. Looks very nicely detailed. Got this from Lucky Games, I forgot to mention. Next step, I got two Xbox. I got two uh, games from my Xbox, and uh, I have a disc away copy of Lego Indiana Jones: The Original Adventures, and a complete boxed set of The Amazing Spider-Man Two. And if you look down here, it says only at Walmart. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Next up, it, next up is a game for my Sega Genesis, and that is Streets of Rage. This this game was really this game was popular back in the seventies, back when I was growing up. Sadly, I didn't get a chance to play it because my mom wouldn't let me. I'm not sure why. All right, next up is a game for my PlayStation, and that is, and that is um. The first time this movie came out, it made its debut onto the play original PlayStation, and that is Atlantis The Lost Empire. And um, if you don't know who that guy is, that is Milo. He is the main protagonist in the Disney animated feature film, Atlantis The Lost Empire. I haven't seen the movie version, heard good things about it. And then um, I, have two Wii, I have two complete Wii games. Guitar Hero 5 and and Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution 2. I had both I had I used to own both both copies of this game when I was younger, but for some reason I gave them away because I thought I couldn't pass because I either thought they they had hard they had hard levels or or I didn't like some of this or I didn't like some of the stuff that was in it. But now I am a proud owner of of but now I'm a proud owner of both these games. Okay, next up is a game for my second for my uh, Super Nintendo, and that is Donkey Kong Country 2: Diddy Kong's Quest. This was a game that I've been wanting to try. Um, I already have the original Donkey Kong Country game. Um, there's three Donkey. There's a bunch of Donkey Kong Country games out there. Some I like and some I don't like. This one is okay. It's not the best, but 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 yeah, but yeah, it's still, but but still, it's a it's a nice game. Next up is a game for my place. Is a disc away copy of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. I thought that when I first played this game, I thought I thought, holy crap, this game is awesome. I'm not much of a Star Wars fan. I did see, I saw that I saw one of the newer Star Wars movies a long time ago when I went to the theater. When I went to the theater, when I went to see it in theaters. Whoa! And uh, whew, sorry about that. Didn't mean to drop it. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. I played it. So yeah, I played it for a couple hours, and I thought it was great. And last but not least, I have. Another complete set of um, of uh, I don't know why the tag is removable is removable, but let me take it off. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right is Batman Begins. Um, um, I just bought it. Um, I think I, I think I have the movie version. I think I have the movie version of Batman Begins. I'm not sure. I'll have to ch I'll have to check it out. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see if I do. If not, no big deal. 
Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I plan on doing more videos like this when I get more time. And uh, please like and please like and subscribe, and hit that little notification bell down there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.